Hello everyone, this is Lightning Spore, and today we are going to talk about how to pay a Lightning invoice using a couple of popular Bitcoin Lightning wallets. So, as, as you can see on my screen right here, this is the Lightning Spore web shop webpage. So, I'm going to navigate into the shop. And you can see our products here. And so, um, one of the, the key features of the Lightning Spore mushroom shop is that we accept Bitcoin and Lightning for all of our products, in addition to credit cards. But Bitcoin and Lightning is a lot more seamless for the user, at least once you get to a hang of how to use Bitcoin properly. And so I hope this video will help teach you that um, it's not hard to use Bitcoin. And um, if you want to use Bitcoin, come go to lightningsport.com and uh, learn how to grow mushrooms. All right, so let's get started. So, so first, let's um, add something to our cart. So, I have a number of products here, but let's just choose this blue mini. It's a, a type of mushroom. So I'll add that to the cart. And so over here, and be your cart. And let's check out. So just have to add some information here that's just fake. Sure. All right, so we made it this far. So you can see that we have payment methods available on the Lightning Spore website. So just choose this one, which is powered by ZapRite, and so place an order. And this is where gets to the point where you'll see the different Bitcoin specific things. So here, now let's start actually paying the invoice. So I select Lightning. And before we even go towards paying it, I just kind of want to explain a little bit what's going on here. So see how there's, there's a time limit? So this invoice is only valid for an hour, 60 minutes. And you see how it starts with this like long magical string of information. It starts with LNBC. So because it starts with LNBC, you know that it's a lightning invoice. So what this is called is called a Bolt 11 invoice. And a Bolt 11 invoice encodes a number of information about who you're paying and how much you're paying inside the invoice. And so just, just to kind of show you how that works, I'm going to copy this invoice and I'm going to go to this website called lndecode.com. And so I'll just copy this and it, this decodes it and it's saying that this is all embedded inside this invoice here. But it's a Bitcoin mainnet um, invoice. It's for this amount of Bitcoin, so 0.0007425 or 7,425 Satoshis and some other specific information about the, about the order. So payment hash is like a unique identifier for this payment. So if once you make a payment, you can, and maybe there's an issue, you can send me this payment hash and be like, hey, I paid this. And I can go check on my end and be like, okay, yes, you did pay this. So um, that's kind of like what Bolt 11 is all about. And then maybe the, like the last thing that we can talk about here is, is the public key, which I'm trying to find here. can't find the public key in the payment in the both love and invoice but I think it's in there somewhere I just can't find it so sorry about that but that's not important but I just wanted to show that you you can decode this and that even though it kind of feels like you're just messing around with a giant long string of random numbers there's actually data inside and that 
that data is how the payment gets facilitated. So okay, so now we have our our bulk club and invoice here, and now what I'll do is we'll start paying these invoices. So there are a couple of different wallets that are popular in the Bitcoin space, and there there are wallets that are what that are called non-custodial. So it means that you are handling everything and then there are wallets that are custodial and custodial custodial wallets are basically holding the funds for you and it's more akin to a traditional bank account versus crypto where crypto is usually meant to be non-custodial because it's meant to be truly free and private and everything like that but for the average person who might need a hand getting started with bitcoin I'm going to focus on these non-custodial wallets because that will be the easiest way to get started. And so the first wallet is Cash App. Cash App is an app that most likely a lot of you already have on your phone, but you might not know that it has a built-in Bitcoin and Lightning wallet inside of it. So I got my phone out right here. I opened up Cash App. And see what I do is I go into left side of the screen where it shows like my cash balance and then I'm just going to select Bitcoin. So when I select Bitcoin I then I have some options like buy some Bitcoin, sell some Bitcoin, or send Bitcoin. And so we're not trying to buy or sell, we're just trying to send. So we can click that, send Bitcoin, and then you can choose this little thing in the corner which allows you to scan a QR code and so now you scan the invoice on the screen and you can see it here you can see that it's it saw the five dollars that we're trying to pay and it, that giant magic number matches what I see on screen so I'll pay it And a couple seconds later, boom, it's paid. It's paid over here. And now we get redirected back to the Lightning Spore website. So yeah, you have now com completed a Lightning payment. You are a user of the Lightning Network. So that's awesome. So, um, so now, I just, let's do it one more time or one or two more times. So we'll go back to the shop and let's do a different one. Let's do jar lids. Jar lids are a common item used in mycology because you need to sterilize sterilize jars of substrate and whatnot and so we sell them on our shop. And so we added it to the cart and let's check out. But this time around, we used all the same contact info. But this time around, we'll still do the same payment method. But we'll use a different Lightning Wallet. But I'll still talk about it a little bit more and talk about both of these different apps. And um, one really cool thing about Cash App and Strike is say you want to use my website, you want to buy some mushroom products, but you're not like hardcore into Bitcoin. So with Strike and Cash App, you don't actually have to purchase Bitcoin in order to interact with the Bitcoin network. You can just log onto the app, scan this invoice, and it will transparently convert dollars that are in your account to Bitcoin over the Lightning Network and make, make the payment. And so. That's just a really cool way where you don't need to be a, a crazy Bitcoin person in order to interact with the Bitcoin network and get all the, at least most of the benefits that Bitcoin can provide for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe the last thing that I'll do before I sign off on this video is I'm just going to show Albi. So Albi is a, a browser-based wallet. 
and it's it's more of the true like non-custodial wallet. And so it's this little green guy up in the corner. And you can like set budgets for it and stuff like that. And so, so what I'll do is I'll just copy this, this string here, copy it. And then I'll do send. I put that in here. So it's asking for an invoice, lightning address, LN URL. So this is an invoice right here. And I'll do continue. 11,000 sats. So it sees my order and the description. And let's pay it. Woo, it's paid. Paid right from the browser. So now this, this screen is updated. It's redirect me back to lightningsboard.com. Well, that's, that's about it. That's um, three different ways that you can pay a lightning invoice. And um, with it, I hope you can learn how to do cool stuff with Bitcoin Lightning. I hope you can use my website and I hope I can provide value to you and you can provide value back to me. Uh, maybe for a bonus, let's do a bonus. I want to do something more fun. So, okay. Let's, let's do something fun with lightning. Let's go to poyofeed.com. So, poyofeed.com has a very nice instructional of how to use Cash App in order to pay as well. But I don't see the camera feed, so I'm not sure about that. Let's go to Satoshi's place. Okay, so this site is kind of fun. I have a, a little advertisement here, but each pixel on this page costs one Satoshi, which is like a fraction of a fraction of a cent. And so that's like one of the cool things about Lightning is that you aren't limited by like the denominations of dollars. Like you're not going to be sending a tenth of a cent over the Visa network. But with Bitcoin, we can do do things like that. So what I'll do is I'll just grab a marker, grab some pink, and I'll just do a little smiley face. Hello. So, got pretty bad handwriting, but let's just submit it. And see, just, just as usual, you see this LNBC prefix to the payment request. So it might be called a payment request or an invoice. And we'll copy it. I'll go back into Aldi. I'll do send. successful and it has been drawn and I can even like refresh the page just to prove that it'll still be there yep it's still there so yeah I'm lightning spore and um, I hope this is helpful um, please like subscribe comment ask me if I'm being confusing um, I would love to learn how to better teach how to use Bitcoin and Lightning. And so follow me on Noster, Twitter, YouTube, and I'll see you around. Bye.